Greetings fellow Shadow Raider, Scrapture here and this is Free Shadow Legends, free to play episode 89. Yeah, so this is uh, once again main account. Uh, yeah, was not giving any updates for some time because was not much was happening. Uh, because I'm still stuck on the Marius missions, uh, so I'm trying to get four mythical chest plates. This is terrible uh, design of the quest. So I think I'm here for like two weeks already. <laughs> I cannot get uh, this uh, final chest drama. Okay, but anyway, today we'll be uh, showcasing my new Hydra team, uh, which is constructed a little bit differently uh, than usual because I will be trying to get uh, as much as I can uh, from the uh, Ogryn. Uh, champion which is Wizard the Nox Noxious uh, yeah and mainly because of uh, his um, faction ally bonuses this additional heal here uh, speed uh, duration increases decreases uh, also on the passive that uh, HP burn and poison cannot be removed more damage etc yeah so very good champion uh, so together with uh, Vizuk will be running three additional um, champions. So one of them is uh, recent fusion. So this is Brugard uh, Jerobom. Um, yeah. So my build here for him is uh, good speed, uh, some resistance over 400 resistance. Um, in terms of his skills, so uh, A2 is uh, cleanse with heal, with shield, very good uh, one. Uh, A4 is uh, increasing the duration of uh, buffs. Um, yeah, debuffs, sorry, debuffs also just increasing the duration of all ally buffs. So, buff extender uh, here, so for, for, for a little bit help, and this uh, fancy passive with the uh, turmeter uh, boosting. Uh, he's not fully booked, but luckily all the books that I had for him landed on A3 and A2, which is great. Uh, yeah, uh, regarding to this, his stats, so he's almost 70k uh, HP, over 4000 uh, defense, good resistance. Uh, accuracy is uh, I skipped here uh, for him because uh, I didn't get uh, the perfect gear uh, to do that. But anyway, he looks uh, decent. Mm, okay, and he's not even a level 60, so I'm working on that. Uh, still missing one mastery, uh, but anyway, he should be good here. Uh, so third um, Ogren, it will be Ugo. Ugo is in relentless. Um, good resistance, good uh, accuracy to land, debu uh, debuffs, unfortunately not the best speed, uh, not even uh, 220, but it is what it is uh, for now, and because of the relentless, right, so we so want to get more turns if possible. So that's Ugo, and the final one, probably it's a nice surprise, it will be Bellower. Uh, why Bellower? Uh, Bellower because of his all his skills are AoE, um, A2, A3, A1. So I geared him with the curse set. So we got 50% chance to place hex on Hydra, uh, and generally that's the idea. Also, he got this fancy new nature bounty blessing, which will give. Uh, we have 30% uh, chance for the greater version on the debuff and he's placing decrease speed and decrease attack and decrease defense with the small versions but we got 30% chance to land a little bit bigger version uh, in terms of stats so for this guy we got um, good defense so over 3000 some hp uh, good speed, uh, not bad, and accuracy required to land the debuffs. So that's uh, the team. Uh, together with do uh, those uh, Ogrens will be running my Rotalos, uh, because he will be uh, benefiting a lot uh, from his passive that he will be inflicting, inflicting additional damage with on enemies uh, with HP burn. 
and Wizook is uh, providing HP burn on all enemies. And together with him, uh, I decided to go with uh, <coughs> Seeker. So Seeker uh, with uh, good speed, so over 300 speed. Um, here we got some accuracy to land his uh, provoke on A1. Uh, so this is my solution for uh, this head which is clearing uh, the uh, debuffs uh, from all the heads. Okay, so let's jump to the Hydra and uh, today we'll be tackling with the Brutal uh, because for Nightmare I got different uh, team. Yeah, and that's the uh, team. Um, yeah, we got using Vizuk as uh, um, lead, so we got HP Aura uh, for everybody, we got speed uh, for Ogrins, uh, which is great. And yeah, we do not have Reviver, so very conditional Reviver from Ugo. Uh, but uh, Vizuk and probably Jeroboam are a little bit more tankier than Ugo, so Ugo will not be the last guy on the battlefield. Okay, so let's try some uh, first manual actions at the beginning and see what we can do. Okay, we don't, do not have a head of DK, which is clearing the uh, debuff, so we are free, free to use uh, our provoke anywhere, <laughs> which is great. And let's see how this will work. Okay, so we got Jeroboam now, um, nothing here, so let's start with A1. He's moving so slowly. <laughs> okay, so let's sta uh, start with decrease speed. I think that will be the call. We got we got decrease speed here on two heads. We got some hexes uh, going. Okay, and now let's uh, put some HP burns and poisons. We got some. Unfortunately, Wizok is hitting right. So uh, if he weak hits, so he will not land his. Uh, Mm, debuffs. Okay, so now what we can do, uh, yeah, A3, some damage. Let's use Ugo. Ugo also landed some buffs. Okay, so uh, Head of Mischief didn't get block buffs, so this is worrying a little. <laughs> Okay, so she uh, this had stolen all the uh, buffs, That's not, but uh, uh, we are, I think, safe because he, she will not... Uh, head is she or he? Uh, he? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so we got uh, the buffs. I think we can now uh, put it on auto, so the team will be doing his stuff. If the run will be not perfect, probably we will need to restart, but uh, just to show you uh, the idea. <clears throat> so as you probably see, so uh, block buffs and decrease uh, defense. This is already on a four, five turn uh, um, duration in terms of debuffs. So uh, yeah, extension of the debuffs is working fine. But all, all what we need to do is just land those debuffs, <laughs> and sometimes this is problematic. Okay, so uh, the AI uh, still for the Hydra heads is uh, bugged, so champions are not uh, on auto uh, focusing on the heads that they should, but it is what it is. Especially we'll see if we'll uh, kill one of the head, so all the mm, hits will go to the heads uh, that are not killed generally, which is weird. Okay, so we got another block buffs for four turns, so we can easily deal with that. So we are not in danger to uh, uh, just uh, that those buffs will go off. So for sure we, we are safe with that. Um, the problems will start happening when we will be killing the heads, so the debuffs will gone. And why you hit this, this, yeah, the head, not the one which is dead already, yeah. Okay, so 
that, that's the bug generally. So they are hitting uh, heads that are al alive. So I don't want to manually uh, too much this fight. So anyway, they will probably kill all the heads in a second. Um, I think the goal here is to reach uh, the minimum for the top chest. And this is, uh, so remember, 30 millions of damage. So we got all heads almost, yeah, all, uh, all heads already died. So we got only uh, respawned head of suffering. Uh, we need to place block buffs from, from Ugo if possible. Let's see. Because the reflect damage can kill uh, Latalos. We need to watch out for that. Unfortunately, Ugo is, do not have his block buffs. Okay, we are doing decent damage. got half of the remaining required points already 70 oh, we got block buffs great so we are, we are cool yeah that's that's that uh, synergy in those guys okay we got unfortunately head of uh, decay so we need to uh, watch out a little bit here Okay, so now, okay, that's good uh, point. Uh, so A1 here will have a chance to instantly activating a poisons and HP burn. So let's see how much damage this will do. As uh, so we got uh, over 19 millions. Okay, 20, almost 1 million uh, of damage. That's great. Okay, we need to provoke the head of decay. Um, which head? This one. So let's try to do this manually because I don't want to lose those uh, debuffs. Okay, it's provoked. Okay, it's probably from time to time we'll need to pause um, the auto and provoke the head of decay. Okay, we got a lot of uh, debuffs. It's great. Okay, no provoke. I need to do this once again. So let's clear. Let's explode. Okay, seeker. Okay, great. Uh, so let's boost two meter. Let's provoke. Yeah, it's working. Great. So now let's continue the damage. What happened? Okay, uh, not sure why Ratalos attacked <laughs> the head of suffering with the uh, reflect damage, and he's already down. And I do not have reviver. So okay, let's see how this will go with, without Ratalos. So our damage mainly now will be with uh, HP burns and okay uh, and poisons so once again i missed the provoke so let's maybe put it auto and let's focus on the head of decay because seeker don't want to attack this head yeah provoke is there right so we need f five more million of damage to be safe okay let's see so there is no chance that I will revive Ratalos, unfortunately. Yeah, but so far so good. Okay, debuff extension. We cannot extend the uh, provoke as I as I see. Not sure why. That's the game design. Okay, we got 25 million damage. If we will reach uh, 30, yeah, so probably I will pause and we'll see on the uh, final screen. Um, yeah. So with Ratalos, this will be much, much easier, but it is with this. Okay, another provoke. So Seeker is great here. 
his provoke is very reliable because yeah because it's on a1 and generally he got only a2 and a1 <laughs> so every time he moves he, he can provoke his great uh, uh, hydro champion and this two meter boost is also great for from a2 we are not doing much damage so we are waiting for Vizok to activate his stuff Okay, we got some HP burns and poisons, finally. So now we should get some damage. We need, still need to provoke the head. Hopefully the HP burns will release uh, Ugo, uh, because head of Blight uh, got him. Okay, constant provoke, that's great. A lot of fears, this is not perfect. Okay, we got some 27 million damage, great. So three, three, almost 3 million and we are good. Okay, Ugo is released. So we can slowly do some damage, so heads are not dying. So we got all the debuffs, so team will be slowly, slowly, very slowly doing some damage. Which is great, which is not bad, but probably not perfect. I can probably create a little bit different uh, team. With, uh, yeah, but yeah, the, the, the issue is here that uh, uh, Rattalos died because of this reflect damage, which is annoying. Yeah, so not having a reviver here, so that's a problem. If Jerobone will have the revive, it will be like super great. Because uh, he's very close to Ancora. Uh, because his A1 is uh, have chance to reduce the uh, cooldown of other champions. Uh, A2 on Ancora is the same cleanse with shield. He's also got healing. But A3 on Ankara is revive and he do not have that. So yeah. Okay, we got 30 million of damage, so let me uh, pause here and we'll be back on the end screen. Okay, we are on the end screen, so 42 million. Uh, the RNG was not on our side. Uh, let me do a one run uh, offline and we'll be back on the end screen uh, after that. And we are on the damage screen, so after almost 34 minutes, uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> uh, once again, Ratalos died during the process, around uh, 80 millions. Uh, he hit once again, hit with the reflect damage, <laughs> and he died. Uh, this is what it is. Okay, so we got uh, 37 million uh, from Ratalos, uh, almost 40 from Wizuk. Uh, which is great, uh, below or even 11, but you know, uh, his damage is mostly from uh, the Hex. Yeah, in terms of healing, so yeah, we got uh, generally three healing uh, champions here, so Wizuk, Ugo and Jeroboam, so a lot of healing happening here, 7 million, over 7 million uh, health restored from Wizuk, this is crazy. Yeah, and this is because of his A3. So A3 with three uh, additional allies uh, will provide the heal, which is great. Okay, so this will give almost 300 million of uh, clash points. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, so let's keep this result. Um, in terms of improvements, um, yeah, if I will find someone better than Blower with Revive, for example, so this will be even better. But so far I do not have anything, uh, any, any other champion that could uh, fit in this rule. Uh, yeah. Okay, so thank you, I hope you'll enjoy it uh, and see you in the next one. Cheers!